Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Spirit of Justice. We were in the middle of investigating the Inner Sanctum, and I th excuse me. Uh, we were just talking to, to Rafa, and I think we're pretty much done about this area and heading back down pretty soon. So, before we do that... The killer must have been the one they call Maya Fey. There can be no other. Y you never know, it's still pretty early in the investigation. Huh. She has spent time in the company of lawyers, so she must have a wicked soul. Thanks for reminding me how much people like me are hated in this country. It is only by the Holy Mother's mercy that you are allowed to investigate this sacred place. Remember that and give thanks to Her Holiness for this great blessing at once. Oh, um, thank you, your Holy Motherness. Uh, that didn't come out right. Well, you tried. That seemed a little insincere. Shall we halt this investigation immediately? No, wait! I'm grateful, really! Hmm, I wonder. Ugh, this is gonna be worse than walking on holy eggshells. Well, are you going to conduct your investigation or not? I will, it's just... Are you gonna keep following me around like this? Of course, unless you intend to do something you feel the need to hide. N no I do everything by the book. Then get on with it. I am not doing this for fun, you know. I too have many duties I need to attend to. And why don't you go do them instead of hovering over me? Hmm? What is that look you are giving me? Am I perhaps being bothersome? N no, don't be absurd. You're being incredibly bothersome. <laughs> okay! Alright, let us move then. Wow, they're still praying. The religious devotion of our people is the pride of our kingdom. Come what may, they will continue to pray until tomorrow afternoon. Well, I will say this. This level of devotion is certainly to be respected. Now, to find Emma. Or this guy! You there. Wait. I want to ask you something. Uh, okay. Do you know me? And do I know you? Huh? Um, well, I'm Phoenix. Phoenix right. I'm a lawyer. No, no. I want to know if you know who I am. Huh? Uh, huh? How should I know? I've never seen you before. This guy's acting really strange. I wonder if he has amnesia or something. I should talk to him a little more, just in case he's connected to this case somehow. Okay, mister. I... All right. Um, let's just present my badge first. Uh, my, my head. Are, are you okay? Did he remember something? My head is so itchy. Ha 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 ha! Shit, I did it. Ha 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 ha! Okay. <laughs> what is with this guy? I, I, I <laughs> your guess is as good as mine, Phoenix. <laughs> um, are you having trouble remembering who you are? Uh, I'm sorry if I offended you. Oh, I thought he was gonna pull a weapon on me, but he's just pulling some snack out one after another. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. I know it's something important. Do you know this man or something, Barbed Head? No, I just said I'd never seen him before, didn't I? Are you Lady Kira? You know of Lady Kira? Then you are Kiranese, I take it. No, no, no. Mirror. 
Wait, are those lizards he e he's eating? What, you want one? No thanks, I uh, I just ate. Ah, now I remember. Get a load of this. Am I transforming into a Power Ranger? What? <laughs> well? <laughs> well, what? I believe he suffers from a far more serious malady than mere memory loss. No good, huh? Guess I'll try somebody else. Um... Alright, Mr. Mystery Guy. So, who was that man and what did he want, Barbhead? I wish I knew. Hey, Mr. Wright! Uh, what now? Yo, Emma! What's wrong? I didn't surprise you that badly, did I? Uh, no, it, it's nothing. Actually, I've been looking for you. I wanted to tell you I investigated the crime scene. I hope it wasn't too much trouble getting my investigation of the Inner Sanctum approved. Oh, it was fine. Prosecutor Samadhi gave his okay straight away. Uh, he seems like a rather fair-minded prosecutor. He said that you would probably give up once you saw the crime scene for yourself. And that moving on before the trial began... And that moving on before the trial began would be the smart thing to do. He must be feeling really confident about his case. <laughs> well, just so you know, I have no intention of giving up. I figured. That's why I've prepared a little gift for you. I thought it might help your investigation. Here, it's all yours. I wanted to bring you a bunch of other forensic tools, but they were confiscated at the airport. I'm surprised that wasn't confiscated because it's like fluid. Luminal testing fluid. This actually might come in handy. Also, I made a copy of the crime scene photo for you. Thanks. All this will definitely come in handy. Ooh. So this is what the high priest's body looked, right? looked like after the murder. I'll keep this along with the picture I took at the crime scene. Thanks, Emma! Oh yeah! They're done questioning Maya. Really? I should go pay her a visit then. Poor Maya, she must be feeling pretty lonely. I should let her know that I'll be defending her too. <laughs> she probably already knows. Oh shoot, look at the time. I have to get going. You sure seem busy. <sighs> That's because his Imperial Holiness is his real slave driver. His infer ephemeral ephemeral? <laughs> Oh, his inf uh, English is hard today. His ephemeral holiness? Prosecutor Samadhi. He's like the world's hardest riddle, wrapped in a flowy sash. I keep wondering if it's just a clash of cultures type of thing, you know? Like, he'll ask the most insane things of me without batting a single long eyelash of his. Not so much long, but thick. Hmm. This Prosecutor Samadhi sounds like he's used to holding some serious clout. Ah, uh, why do I have such bad luck with prosecutors? First it was the glimmerous fop, and now that I'm finally rid of that grating, bling-loving Europhile, I get this guy! <laughs> oh no, now I'm really gonna be late. He'll probably make me listen to one of those really long sutras again. Run, Emma, run! I'll see you later! Go, girl, go! He makes her listen to sutras? Sounds like Emma's got it pretty rough, too. She does not appreciate Prosecutor Samadhi's sutras. What ingratitude. It appears that she, too, is lacking in religious devotion. I don't think that's what the problem is here. Besides, Emma's not even a Quranist. Point. That man we just met. He seemed quite suspicious to me. Don't tell me he's an acquaintance of yours. Not everyone who's suspicious is friends with a lawyer, or vice versa, you know. For example, I have many upstanding friends and acquaintances, like a chief prosecutor. Well, as long as your friends are free from the taint of corruption. 
They are. And not everything is about good and evil. Are you going to speak with that woman? If you mean Maya, then yes. There's something I need to talk to her about. Something like a jailbreak? And how exactly will we do that with you and a guard watching us like hawks? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he made a point. Did I examine here earlier with her? I don't even remember. Ah, well, let's do it again, I guess. Acolyte Zaylot is still focused on his prayers. Why are we so focused on Zaylot? <laughs> it's not such devotion worthy of commendation. Still, he has not yet learned of the High Priest's death. When I think of how he will learn of it once his prayers are over... Yeah, it does seem cruel, doesn't it? To think I would witness a lawyer being allowed to pass through this sacred gate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't unless I had to. Those stairs were brutal to climb. What's this? Do you even know how many monks would give their lives to pass through that gate? Be thankful for the great honor you have been afforded. Y yes, your benevolence. Um... Oh, well, I guess I can still examine this. They're still praying? Now that's really something. It's called their absolute devotion to Lady Kira. Is it Kira? I'm still trying to figure it. Kira! Is it Kira as in like Kira Ki, uh, K I R A because she's a lady killer? No. <laughs> but you don't have to pray to her, Your Benevolence? Our customs dictate that I must never associate myself with Lady Kira in any way. Instead, it is my duty to offer my prayers and dance to the Holy Mother every day. Why don't you try offering up a dance or two? I think you'll find it quite uplifting. No thanks, I'm good. Alright, I think we're done here, so let's go ahead and head to the detention center and check up on Maya. This is why I didn't go to the detention center first, because I'm pretty sure the last time I did that, it wouldn't let me talk to her because she was still being questioned. Nick, I knew you'd come. Well, don't look so glum about it! Maya, she sure looks tired. How are you holding up? It wasn't me. But no one will believe me. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm still a bit in shock. Who would have thought you'd get caught up in something like this? And so far from home. But I'm going to defend you, so hang in there. We can do this if we work together. This is all my fault. I mean, you came to Karain just to visit me. We hadn't seen each other in ages, and then this happens. I haven't seen her this down in ages either. Come on, remember who you're talking to. Besides, I thought you'd be used to being the usual suspect by now. You know, that's something you don't want to get comfortable with, though. <laughs> I guess you're right. And you saved me each and every time. Yep, so just tell me everything you can and let's go from there. Barbhead, stop stalling and go straight to the matter of true import. We know she is the murderer, therefore it is time for her confession. Your benevolence, what brings the royal priestess to a place like this? I am watching over this lawyer to keep him from tempering with anything in this case. Now, out with it. Confess to your crime. P please, your benevolence. Could you please take it down a notch or, or three? Huh. <laughs> Maya, please tell me what you can. I know this must be difficult, but anything you can remember might help. Sure. Okay. Trying to remember if I present the badge this time around, does she have a new dialogue? She might, so let's see. Uh, it's still the same. Okay, I thought she would have a different dialogue, but guess not. So let's just, uh, let's examine stuff. <laughs> Hmm. 
Why does that guard keep eyeballing me? I can't let him get to me. I can't let him get to me. Ugh, he's doing it again. <laughs> right, please. You're fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Yet. A guard will come running if you ring that bell there. Really? Let's put that to the test, shall we? Oh, but they got really mad last time when I rang it for no reason. <laughs> of course she would do it. You could have told me that before I rang it. Um... That's it? Oh, there's not a lot to examine in this room. Alright. Let us talk, then! I didn't kill the High Priest. I wouldn't even dream of it. I mean, he always treated me so well. Abbot in me was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind. Even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house whenever I was between training sessions. How could I ever kill someone like that? He sounds like a really good person. I think I would have liked him. It was so much fun. I got to enjoy meals with his family and everything. And his wife was a master of Karainese cuisine. I've never eaten better in my life. It's like they were a family. And home away from home in this foreign land. It must have been a source of comfort. What, with being here for training all alone? But... But what? I can't completely deny the charge, either. Huh? As I suspected, the snake has shown her true colors at last! Your benevolence, please. I'm trying to figure out what really happened here. Ugh. Huh. So, what do you mean, you can't completely deny the charge? Well... During the purification rite, I suddenly got really, really sleepy. The next thing I knew, Abbot in me was... you know. You suddenly got sleepy? So then, you didn't actually see the High Priest get murdered? No, I didn't, but... If I was possessed by some crazed spirit while I was asleep, then... What an excuse! How dare you pin your crime on another person's soul? Mm. Huh. Be honest. What you call training is but an extended vacation in reality. And that training here is simply for prestige. N no, it's not like that at all. I'm training to become the master of the Karain channeling technique. Huh. A neophyte practitioner such as you becoming a channeling master? I think not. The spiritual power required is beyond the means of an outsider like you. Rafa seems to really hate fakers. But Maya does actually have the power to channel spirits. I should let Rafa know. Your benevolence. I wouldn't call Maya a neophyte because she can already- uh, Wait, 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 Nick. What? Um, can I talk to you for a second? Why is she whispering all of a sudden? I want to keep my spirit channeling ability a secret while I'm here, Nick. What? Why? I'll, um, explain later. Just keep it a secret for now, okay? If you say so, what's that all about? What is all that whispering about over there? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'll have to ask about this later when Princess Rafa is not around. Oh, I almost forgot. Nick? Yes? About Abbott and Me's murder, there was something I noticed that I thought strange. Oh? What did you notice? 
So, what was it you noticed? Well, you probably won't believe me, but... Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Okay. So, you know that spring? The spring? You mean the pole in front of the Wabas, the Warbot, the Warbat statue? Yes, that. The water in there was dark red. And when I say dark red, I mean blood red. Oh, that? Yeah, I saw it too. You did? Yeah, the high priest's blood turned it red. What? No, that's not what I meant. The spring was red before he was killed. Wh what Wait, so it was already red? Even before the high priest was killed? Yeah, I noticed it during the purification rite. Just before I passed out. It's just like the ancient legend says. What ancient le legend? Wah. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. That's how it goes, anyway. Hold on! Yes, there is a legend about the inner sanctum that says just that. But the water runs red this time thanks to the murder. The police investigation confirmed it. Perhaps your eyes were deceived by the lantern light reflecting off of the water. I, I don't think that was it, though. An ancient legend, huh? I wonder if it's connected to this murder somehow. The water was already red before she came there. Interesting. Um, Nick? Yes? So, uh... Actually, there's one more thing. What's up with Maya? She keeps looking over at her benevolence like she's worried what Rafa will think. One more thing! There's... there's something I want to show you. There is? I found this at the Inner Sanctum after I came to. Is this... a letter? And it's in Koreanese. See that stamp on the far left, at the end of the letter? Does it look familiar? This red stamp here? That's the mark of Lady Kira. Oh, right. It looks just like the mark on her forehead. Lady Kira, you say? Let me see that. Wh why, this is... What? What does it say? Do not perform the right. I know what you're planning. Lady Kira. That sounds like a threat. Or a warning. Whoever's pretending to be Lady Kira was pressuring the High Priest to stop the right. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. Nick, do you think... Wait, 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 wait. First, there's that ancient legend. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. Now, there's also Lady Kira's warning. Plus, with the Warbad dagger being eyed as the murder weapon. D don't tell me! That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. I bet Lady Kira's spirit possessed the sacred robe or something. Don't tell me... You actually believe that the real Lady Kira returned to kill the High Priest? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? Historical figures don't come back to life. I mean, give me a break. But, but, but... 
You were saying only yesterday how it was more fun to believe that she's the real deal. Yeah, yesterday. I wish I could keep on entertaining that fantasy too. But the fact is, we're dealing with a murder here. Thus, my days of dreaming have come to an end. I'm gonna keep it real from now on. And you should too, Nick. Oh, uh, alright. I thought you said I was the boring one because I was keeping it real. Sorry. I guess I've outgrown that stepladder argument we always have. I think you mean ladder, Maya. Keeping it real. <laughs> so, what do you mean by keeping it real? Oh, um... So you know how someone is dressing up like Lady Kira and capturing rebels, right? Oh, you mean the rebel hunter Lady Kira in the papers? Yeah, that one. I think that's who probably sent this warning. What nonsense is this? You dare to suggest that Abba and me was slain by Lady Kira? You... you... nincompoop! Ah! The rebel hunter is sure to be a vigilante who loves this kingdom. And it is that per that patriotism that led them to clock their identity to cloak. To cloak their identity in the skies of Lady Kira. Why did I say clock? <laughs> Such a patriot would never slay the high priest. I guess it's only natural for Princess Rafa to see it that way. But I can't let it go at that. Besides, why would such a vigilante want to stop the purification right in the first place? I haven't figured that one out yet. I rest my case. Still, if this rebel hunter had a compelling enough reason, they might have killed the high priest after he ignored their warning. You, you big dummy! You can't fool me! It was you who forged that warning letter! You are trying to shed your guilt onto our most sacred Lady Kira! Admit it! No! I'd never do such a thing! Now, now, your benevolence. Let's try to remain rational about this. Ah. Uh. Maya, did you show that letter to the police? Um... No. I was afraid that it would anger everybody needlessly. So I was waiting to show it to you, Nick. And judging by her benevolence's reaction, I'd say Maya was right to be worried. Hmm? Wait. What are... There are, num there are a number of places in this letter where there are three holes in a hole. In a row. Are these supposed to be some sort of a message too? Not that we'll be finding out any time soon, I suspect. Alright, Accuse, wrap it up! I guess they have more questions for me. Yeah, at least I have a better idea of what we're up against now. Um, Nick? There's something I've been meaning to say. I... don't need a lawyer this time. What? what are you talking about? It's just... you know, they have that Defense Culpability Act here in Karain, right? Well, if I'm found guilty, you'll be charged with abetting a criminal. Psh! Phoenix Rise has already been through this already. Maya, thanks for thinking of me, but... Don't worry, Maya. We'll pull through this together somehow. We always have, haven't we? Yeah. But we're not in Kansas anymore, you know? Or Japanifornia. True, but I've been through one trial here already. So I know what I'm getting myself into. We're going to win this one, no matter what. Because I believe in your innocence. Yeah, I know. We've always won because of your faith in me. That's right. So it's all aboard the Phoenix Freedom- uh, the Phoenix Freedom Express. Thank you, Nick. 
Well, I'll see you later. Later, Maya. Bravado will not save you tomorrow, and by then it'll be too late to ask for mercy. We're going to beat this charge. You'll see. Huh. I don't care to understand every single word that was spoken. But I don't like the sound of that Phoenix Freedom Express one bit. Wait. Don't tell me you don't know what Freedom Express refers to. Uh. <laughs> of course I know! Do not presume to know what I do not know! As in you don't actually know. I'm no closer to understanding why someone would want the High Priest dead. But given the use of the war bag dagger and the existence of the warning letter, I'd say the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira is the real prime suspect. It might help if I knew a little more about this modern day Lady Kira. I wonder if anyone has any info on them. Hmm, maybe the first thing I should do is to go someplace where locals like to gather. The marketplace? The bazaar? We'll do that in the next video because we are now out of time. Uh, wait, do I need to talk to her? Okay, you know what, let me talk to her and then we can actually stop. <laughs> that woman you call Maya Fey is not to be trusted. I hear she is already 28 and yet she is still as antsy as a maiden in her teens. Surely she must be hiding something. Actually, that's just Maya being Maya. <laughs> what do we do? So, what next? Huh, let me think. Oh, I know. Dare I ask? Admit the accused's guilt, so we can go straight to the inevitable guilty verdict. That will solve everything. Why did I even ask? I think I'll just keep on investigating. Okay, now we are stopping, and we shall continue this in the next video, so I'll see you guys then.